Hi friends, welcome back. We're here to start with our second step skills. We learned how to have empathy, how to calm ourselves down, how to play fairly, and we learned how to be a problem solver. Finally, our skills for learning. Let's sing along and listen to our second step song now. Focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, this the way we all can learn, this is the way Now let's focus our attention, concentrate, use your eyes, ears, and brain, and ignore distractions. Our poem this week, This Little Truck. Follow along as I read it for us. This little truck worried about the market. This little truck worried about home. This little truck worried about stop signs. This little truck worried about mud, sharp stones, those icky bugs that get squashed in your grill, and pretty much everything else in the world. And this worried truck honked, eek, 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 all the way home. As we mentioned before, this poem has words that repeat again and again. Can you tell me the words that repeat again and again or more than one time? Repeat. This little truck worried about. It's in here one, two, three times, four times. And then the word eek, eek, eek repeats as the sound the truck makes. Learners, we're still thinking about how people and things get from here to there. This week, we're learning about how kids just like you all around the world get to school. Let's watch our video now to learn more about our big idea. How do children around the world get to school? There are many different types of transportation that get children around the world to school. Some students take buses, ride bikes, or walk. If you live in an area with really big hills, you might take a cable car. If you live somewhere really cold, you might use your skis to get to school. And look at this, a trolley. Doesn't that look like fun? Trolleys work a lot like buses. Children who live in really big cities might take a metro line or subway to school. You don't see a lot of these anymore, but in some communities, a horse and buggy is still used to get to school. Children who live in Venice, Italy, take vaporettos to get around. A vaporetto carries people along the waterways. This week, you will learn how children around the world get to school. 
How do you get to school? Our amazing words this week. Say them after I say them. Cable car. Trolley. Horse and buggy. Skis. Metro line. Vaporetto. Let's listen to our amazing word song today. We're going to listen for cable car and trolley. When you hear cable car and trolley, clap your hands. Use your self-talk. Say cable car, trolley. Got it? Okay, let's listen. How do children get to school? Get to school. Get to school. How do children get to school all around the world? We can ride the cable car, cable car, cable car. We can ride the cable car all around the world. We can take the horse and buggy, horse and buggy, horse and buggy. We can take the horse and buggy all around the world. We can drive the trolley car, trolley car, trolley car. We can ride the trolley car all around the world. We can ride on skis to school, skis to school, skis to school. We can ride on skis to school all around the world. We can take the metro line, metro line, metro line. We can take the metro line all around the world. We can ride the Vaporetto, Vaporetto, Vaporetto. We can ride the Vaporetto all around the world. cable car, friends. A cable car is a type of train car that is pulled by a metal rope called a cable. Cable cars are used in cities that have hills that are hard to climb. Our city, Chicago, does not have any hills. We live in the Great Plains. Everything is very flat, but in other cities that have a lot of hills and mountains, you might get a chance to ride in a cable car. Next, let's talk about a trolley. A trolley can bring us to places in the city. It's like a bus attached to electric wires overhead that send it power to move. So these types of buses sometimes do not use gas. Instead, they use electricity on a cable that above the trolley. The wires that give power to the trolleys are only on some streets. Have you ever seen a trolley? Okay, learners, here's your ears listening test. Remember, today we learned about cable car and trolley. We rode a blank up the hill in San Francisco. We rode this to go up a hill in San Francisco. Is it cable car or trolley? You said cable car, give your brain a kiss. That's it. Here's your next one. My dad said there is a blank on the next street. 
My dad said there is a blank on the next street. Yes, trolley, good ears listening. Friends, next let's talk about our letter sounds. Show and tell me the sound you hear in the word quilt. Qu, qu, qu. Show and tell me the sound you see. Show and tell me the sound in the word quarter. Qu, qu, qu. Queen. Qu, qu, qu. Yak. Y, y, y. Yellow. Y, y, y. Yo, yo. Y, y, y. Yarn. Y, y, y. Friends, I'm going to read some words. Say the word after I say it. Yak. Quit. Yes. Quiz. Right. Which words begin with ya? Yak. Yes. Which words begin with qu? Qu Quit. Quiz. Now let's look in our skills buddy book or on your screen. Let's find some words that have our ya sound and our qu sound. First, let's find some things with qu. Do you see the zebra in the front? What is the zebra holding? It's a portrait or a picture of a qu qu queen. Let's see what else? We found the quilt, qu qu qu, and of course the yaks. Let's see. Do you see the table where the hens are? I see some yarn on the table. Do you see the yarn, the balls of yarn? Mm -hmm. And I see right above the yarn, a quill, qu, qu, quill. A quill is like a feather pen. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Oh, I see a yam, it's a vegetable. It's up on the table in the back where the bear is with the yak and the owls. Do you see the yam? Good. Okay, friends, for our ears listening today, listen to this word, yes. This word begins with y, y, y. Say the sound with me, y, y, y. The middle sound is e, e, e. The last sound is s, s, s. Y, e, s. Y, e, s. Friends, can we do the same thing with the word yam? What's the first sound in yam? Y, a, m, yam. Let's try it again. Y, a, m. Good. Let's do the same thing with the word quack. Qu, a, k. Qu, a, k. Nice. Let's do the same thing with quit. Qu, e, t. Qu, e, t. Yeah, you did it, friends. Tell me the name of this letter. Y. What sound does Y make? Y, y, y. Tell me the name of this letter. Q. What sound does Q make? Qu, qu, qu. Let's do some blending, friends. Get that arm up and ready. Qu, e, n. Qu, e, n. Queen. What's the word? Queen. Qu, ilt. Qu, ilt. Quilt. Quilt. Qu is, qu is, quiz. What's the word? Quiz. Y, a, m, y, a, m, yam, yam. Y, a, m, y, a, m, yam. What's the word? Yum. In our Skills Buddy book on page 116, let's do some blending together. The first word is qu it. Qu it. Quit. What's the word? 
quit. Next word, quiz. 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 What's the word? Quiz. Next, y a m. Y a m. Yam. What's the word? Yam. Next, a m. A m. Am. What's the word? Am. Sl a m. Sl a m. Slam. What's the word? Slam. The words I can read are sight word. Where. W h e r e. Where. Come. C o m e. Come. Next, the sentences I can read. Say them after I say them. Where is Quinn? Your turn. Number two, he did not come yet. Your turn. Number three, will Quinn quit? Your turn. Good job. Okay, so let's see if we can read these words, friends. Let's blend them. Qu it quit. Qu is quiz. Y a Yak. Y s yes. J e m Jim. M a m mom. K a n can. H e m him. S a t sat. Friends, this week we're thinking about verbs. Verbs are action words. Verbs tell us what someone or something is doing. For example, ride, jump, hop, skip, climb. Which of these do you like doing? I cause rain and snow to fall. I drive a tractor into town, make a submarine go down. Thanks for focusing your attention with me today. See you soon.